I've been working on the railroad. Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work. This is my catch-all here to everything that I used to work with. A lot of old stuff, a lot of old craftsmen, a lot of uh, separate sockets, single sockets, random sockets, and uh, yeah, it all ends up here. <laughs> But uh, decided to say that the toolbox widget socket organization system is finally here. It took a little bit, but they finally got it out now. And we get to explore how we're going to make this a little bit better. So I, I got quite a little bit of examples here. So this is kind of cool. We have this, uh, the old metal style here. See how we can condense that. Uh, these are kind of proprietary to how you buy the socket set. So this is more like a Lyman's or something you attach to a bag. So this is kind of oddball. Uh, these are quite compact, but they have the pegs. The Wesley machines have pegs in there. You can't move them. They're, they're there and that's it. That's all you get with those. So, um, that, you see, we get what you see with that. Uh, blow molded cases, always going to take a lot of space. Definitely good to get out of blow molded cases. Got the old rail systems, the Ernst style, Ernst uh, tray here. But this is for a different uh, drawer setup. I just have it right now to just to hold everything. So I got bit sockets. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at uh, what you get in the box. Uh, one by one, we'll start with a half inch. All right, so you order a box of half inch. Comes like this. They uh, are very good on the website of uh, how they show these. So you don't have to worry about the part number and uh, they do not come with these size stems, so they just picture them just to show you. So these little stems do not come in the box. So you get 12 organizers and 10 spacers made for your toolbox for professional and DIY use. So they'll come out like that. There's six and six, 12, and there should be 10 spacers in here. Let's see here. 10 spacers and spacers are there so you can separate the larger sockets so if you have a huge socket you can add a couple and uh, yeah there's plenty in here so you don't have to worry about them uh, when you start getting to the smaller sizes so it's thought out and uh, yeah these are not 3d printed they are blow molded and they have a little cap right here glued in kind of i think they're glued in with the magnet in the middle it's like an eight pound magnet i believe and uh yeah they are uh somewhat cut oh well some have a little bit of uh over molding on them but uh for the most part um they are still better than a 3d printed uh unit so there you go on that and uh yeah there's the hole for the peg and when you have a socket out of it you can see that you have a missing socket we'll get on that later but uh, there you go one box will serve you 12 sockets okay so the magnets are quite strong when you got a group of them going uh, you need a thin mat but it's still over time the mat will hold on to them because of the magnet will still kind of go through them and they'll, they'll hold quite well um, yeah the, you can start loading them up sideways if you have a cart and you can also put the pegs in you can buy the peg kit and hold them a little bit better if you have a cart on the side so once they start weighing down they are still they still hold quite well so when you start rowing them in the back you start off with the smaller sizes i recommend starting from the right to the left so the smaller sizes first and i'll show you in a minute here so you just keep going, you add one, you add another, and you go along the whole rail. So let's just line them up. Just I'll just show it as an example for now. So we have like the smaller sizes, work on the smaller sizes, and then when you start getting to the larger sizes, you start getting close right there. Get you guys up a little bit more here so yeah start getting a little closer right there and then this one's a little tight so you're gonna need a spacer so watch it put that there 
this is not going to go. So you're going to need, for sure, a spacer from then on out. That's why I recommend starting from the small to the large, because you can only go one way. So that the one on this side comes off, but you can't go the opposite way. So you're going you're gonna to get stuck. So there you go. There's the gap. So let's fill this all up, and I'll show you what the gap looks like on the whole row. All right, it is looking sexy right here. You barely notice the gap. So the gap starts here with the spacers and only needed one the rest of the way. I had to open up another package. And as you can see, we have plenty of spacers. Once you start buying a couple packs, plenty to go. Maybe they were a little a bit too generous on these, but uh, yeah, uh, maybe, oh, maybe you might have like a, a specialty socket. You can uh, add these up and use them for specialty sockets in the back somewhere. Yeah, so that's that works out great. Uh, these, uh, the two drawbacks with these, you can't clock them so you can see the size. So that's typical with uh, most organizers anyway. The other drawback is if uh, the, the foam is too thick, you'll get the last one right here, the, the one on the very end right here, it'll fall out on you. Uh, may have to glue that or something or um, yeah, yeah, just figure something out on that. But uh, yeah, just that last one. But uh, not too much of a big deal there. And uh, the height, the height, let's uh, measure here. So on the back end, on your larger sockets in the back, you are going to lose, let's see here, focus, please. Three eighths. You're gonna lose three eighths space. So this is gonna stack up to three eighths on the back. So that's 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 your loss. So if anything needs to clear up here, you're losing three eighths. So minus three eighths on that. Uh, let's go on to the three eighths sets and uh, see how they look. All right. So not much difference here. You get twelve organizers and. Eight spacers for the three eighths. Once again, there's a part number, and uh, you don't get the pegs along with it. It's just a uh, FYI. And uh, yeah, what's cool about these is that they are compatible with the half inch and the spacers as well. So the half inch spacers go along with the three eighths. That is cool. Now let's look at the quarter inch. All right, now once again, quarter inch is pretty much the same thing, except for you only get six spacers, and the quarter inch are gonna be looking a little bit more wider there than the rest, but uh, they have to fit like that, so they're gonna be wider, so you can have a lot of space there on the edge right there, but we are modular here, so we can use all the spacing, and, and we can use sets with mixed uh, drive sizes all together. So that's what's cool about that. So this is a 27. See how flush it is right there? The 24 kind of flush right there. And like a 15 would be like the, the largest size for a uh, quarter inch. So yeah, you're gonna have a little bit more of a gap on the quarter inch, but uh, we'll see how this looks all together. I'm gonna cram everything in here the best I can, and I'm gonna tell you the positives and the negatives, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it all looks together. So let's get to working. All right, so just showing how versatile it is, this is the pack out drawer system, and I put a little metal plate here, have a little side for sockets, and uh, it works out quite well. Very sturdy, uh, don't have a place for the extensions here, but just, uh, I was just playing around with it. And uh, yeah, cool, have the little um, screwdriver holders there for the ratchets. Have a little bit of screwdriver holders here. It's kind of a little catch-all for all my Milwaukee stuff. So I was just playing around with it. I might put these back into the case and make it a little bit more mobile. And uh, yeah, it uh, works out quite well in there. Just. Barely fits, pretty cool. Oh man, this is just time consuming as frig. Little update on the tool shed right now. I ordered two more of those. I like this one as my favorite here. They sent out all three of these, but this is my favorite. So I ordered two more and I'm going to be rowing them all up on this side. These two will go on the other side. 
So I am making a long bench system and uh, kind of integrating it to the bench here. So a little update on the shed right there. Got some progress going. Got the uh, trim face right here on that. It's gonna be another trim face right here. And then two more of these all the way down. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, just uh, that's why you haven't been seeing a YouTube video in quite a bit. Very time consuming on this. I could tell you right now, I'm gonna get a lot of questions actually on which is better. So I probably have a couple comments underneath asking uh, which is better, the tool grid or the toolbox widget. Tool grid, you're gonna lose the same amount of space. This is 3 8 so tool grid and toolbox widget is about the same. So uh, one thing about the tool grid is you're gonna have to take everything out that you already had in there and start from scratch because you're gonna have to cut the whole entire piece to fit the drawer and then you kind of have to dive in with both feet and just do it all there because um yeah this is at work if you're at work it's uh gonna take quite a bit and you have another car come in uh, you're gonna have to uh work with all your stuff on top of the box for a while or i don't know how else you're gonna do it but uh, with a toolbox widget you can work on section at a time because you could buy these individual boxes and work on a section at a time and still keep your old organizers here which i am showing right here i ran out a quarter inch i could use some more quarter inch here but this is good because i can show you that you can still keep your old organizers here and work on it little by little which is very nice about this uh, another thing my favorite thing about this actually is right in this area which is super sweet this is my favorite area right here with the half inch and the three eighths you can separate them as well, make them more easier to grab. And uh, yeah, it looks just super sweet, super smooth, very uniform here. Uh, the tool grid, you'll see the little pegs in between. And this is more of a, like a smoother setup here. And you could stretch them out like this 3 8 You could stretch it out to match the, the half inch back there, which is cool. You can kind of keep it all uniform right there. I like that. That's my favorite part of the whole system here. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, very nice to have the 3 8 work along with the quarter inch right here. And also some of these sets do have half inch, so you can line them all up with half inch, 3 8 and quarter inch all rowed up and kind of squeeze them in the middle here. This is all my SAE over here, so the metric over here, and kind of clash it all together here with some oddball stuff. The pegs look the best on the half inch back there and you can take a Sharpie on there and you can see them the most clearest right there. And right here we have the quarter inch. So I have two sets of quarter inch right here, impact and, uh, and regular chrome in the standard right here. And the pegs are all like there. There's one more size up and I think there's one more size down. Uh, problem that I came across with the pegs right here is the Number four, four millimeter didn't quite fit because the broaching was too small on it. No big deal. Like over here, you don't have to have the pegs. These are a whole bunch of 10 millimeters right here. You could, another cool thing right here is if you have extra 10 millimeters, you can just row them on in and squeeze them in the middle here, which is nice about that. So you can have your extra 10s in there. Have another extra 10 right here. Some more oddball stuff right there. And yeah, pretty much covers everything. Yeah, uh, haven't ran into any problems of running out of the pegs. So you buy the pegs separately. It should be all the sizes there for the pegs. And um, yeah, the extensions, uh, they do take quite a bit of space, but I find that with every other organizer, they do take space. Uh, one thing I do to battle that with the extensions, I usually put the extensions longwise in the side drawer like this so that kind of condenses them all down. It doesn't really matter. Um, unless you want to really uh, in, uh, have an indicator when they're missing. Uh, otherwise, I just usually just stack them up. There's no other way around it. That's the nature of extensions. Um, one cool thing I did right here is I graduated them with the plier organizers and the screwdriver organizers. These are a little different from each other. I don't believe there's spacers for these, but there's two wider ones on this set. This set, there's spacers and they're all the same. They're more V-notched and they go a little bit deeper. And these kind of go in deeper too with the wider uh, sections. So you'll find that the half inch will sit a little bit higher there, but you can kind of make them higher over here so they're more easier to grab. That's kind of cool right there. And you can do the same with the ratchets too. Make them higher ones over here, easier to grab and work your way down. 
They don't have ratchet holders yet, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see maybe something soon, hopefully on that. That is gonna be cool right there. So I kind of did a little mix here, kind of made the little toolbox widget symbols right here, kind of make it look cool between there and, and that. And a little empty spaces here, so when I get the quarter inch going, that kind of fills it all in right there. But yeah, it is super nice, I like it. It is very a very good contender to the tool grid. And tool grid has the trays and cups and stuff and different types of organizers. So it's, yeah, I, if to answer that question, which one's better, it's all on preference. And uh, uh, trying to show the best here, this is just a catch-all once again to all my sockets, all the uh, over, uh, double sizes and stuff that I'm not testing at work and the stuff that came back over here and then my old stuff from what I used to work on is here. So it's kind of like a catch-all, kind of um, just uh, storage wise. So it's all on preference, all on what you're working on. Keep all your your quick grab items in the front and put your not so quick grab, uh, the items that you don't use much in the back. So very versatile and um, very OCD satisfying, especially in this area. Uh, so pricing, I'm trying to get this video out. Sorry, I haven't had a video in a while, but I'm getting this video out as soon as I can so you can catch the sale this month only. The socketry items are from 25 bucks for the 12 pack down to 18 bucks. So definitely check that out. And I think they have a giveaway going on right now. So definitely I want you to get you guys in on that. I don't make any money off this. I don't I haven't decided to make any um, code or anything on this. This is all just given to me for uh, just a straight up review and my opinion on it and uh, I am the organizer guy so I have a lot of organizers and that's cool it all works out so I can show what I have compared to uh, what I have now and just a lot of different stuff and especially when I get all the other toolboxes in I can kind of clash it all in and I can be your go-to guy for all organizers and stuff so that's just all cool in every way and uh, yeah once again guys Thank you for watching. I am super exhausted and on to the next.